Good morning students this is our lecture number 6 on our series on english studies in india and in the last video we have already talked about the hindu college calcutta where there is a group of people uh, writers and reformers who began following the ideals of raja ram mohan roy and then there was a group in the hindu college whose mentor was henry louis de rosio so after raja ram mohan roy we have the next two important writers in this subject henry de rosio and michael madhusudan dat so we are going to study everything about these two writers these two poets in this video lecture from competitive examination point of view all right so whatever we are going to discuss in this video you are going to get the notes on all the video lectures through our study material curated from ugc net and gate english literature perspective you can check the link in the description below to know more about it so now without any further ado let's begin this video So it was around 1826 when spreading of western education just started all right uh, Raja Ram Mohan Roy wrote the letter to Lord Amherst in 1823 and the minute on indian education by macaulay came in 1835 so before 1835 the english education began to flourish in india and the college that deliberately chose western education to spread was the hindu college calcutta whereas the whole nation still was teaching the oriental learning uh we have this college the hindu college calcutta who started focus, focusing on occidental learnings okay so occident means west and orient means east we have a work orientalism a work by edward sayed uh, the work that organized the field of post colonial studies all right so do not get confused between the two terms occident and orient occident is all about western learning and orient is all about the eastern learning okay So the Hindu college was deliberately focusing on western learning and later this college came to be known as the presidency college. Now what happened in this uh, college was that there was a committee members of the college who started inviting the western teachers to start teaching the western learnings in the college, okay? And Henry Louis Dorazio was appointed as the teacher of English literature and language in 1826. he was a sort of a first britisher who started teaching uh, in a college the first teacher of indian education system but from heart he was a son of india he was a son of soil of this india he was a patriot and social reformer at the age of 17 he started uh, teaching in this the hindu college calcutta and he was a great revolutionary revolutionary personality he was a free thinker and at the age of 17 he started influencing the whole the whole students the whole teachers colleagues everyone out there in hindu college calcutta unfortunately he died at the age of 22 but before he died he did his work uh, he was an anglo indian born in calcutta and the first teacher who spread the western learning just as i said all right so even before macaulay's minute on indian education came uh, we can see that indian education has started spreading the western learning system in 1826 by appointing this anglo indian henry dorasio So now this Henry Dorazio was a free thinker and uh, he started encouraging people to start arguing about the orthodoxy of Hinduism. He organized open debates and religion and so on social topics all right. So he argued a lot about the orthodoxy of Hinduism and encouraged the youth of Bengal to question the same. try to understand this don't take it on ego all right so it it is hap- it happens most that our ego comes in between when we talk about the religion all right so the orthodoxy of hinduism he started talking henry dorazio but by heart he was also an indian he wrote a lot of uh, good poems harp of india uh, fre- freedom to the slave such works he has written and uh, Uh, you see he was a very patriotic mindset person but again he was also questioning the orthodoxy of hindu people and he encouraged people the young bengal people young bengal students to argue the same that is one of the reasons that he was uh, fired from him the hindu college calcutta within 3 years of his professorship in his poem freedom to the slave he even encouraged the youth of india to sacrifice their own lives for the sake of motherland india and he created a group of young bengali students named as young bengal movement and shaped the thinking of the students who were at that period of time studying in the hindu college calcutta all right so everyone started questioning the religion the custom the old tradition value of indian society uh, you see people do not have the rational faculties okay still today people do not cannot think from their rational faculties they say that if god has said something if gita quran bible has said something they follow it blindly 
and that that this is called logocentrism the concept given by jack derrida logocentrism derrida said the world is blind people don't have rational faculties uh, they are blind they do not have good reasons to justify what they are speaking so when people do not have good reasons to justify what they do is they take the help of scriptures and they just justify based on that particular scripture okay that god said this allah said this geeta said this ram said this so we are not free thinkers we cannot argue such uh, scriptures that is logocentrism god centric society so when you don't have any reason to explain something you just uh, take these books these scriptures and you just quote it out in front of the people to convince them all right so that is what logocentrism all about all right so henry dorazio was a free thinker and he encouraged people to argue to question their faith to question their religion and try to become a free thinker all right so he has written a lot of works for instance the fakir of jangira it was a romantic epic his sonnet to india my native land another one the harp of india next one or to independence and then we have to the pupils of hindu college song of the hindustani minstrel so all are these detail that you have to remember from ugc net perspective you can make the notes from this video or if you have our study material you can check the same notes and just highlight and revise those notes from the booklets that we provide to the students all right so after henry dorazio you don't have to go through the many many details of henry dorazio simply the harp of india and this much information that i have shared in this video all right so after henry dorazio there was a student michael madhusudan dad he was a hindu but later he himself converted him to christianity so there comes michael michael before madhusudan dad okay so it became michael madhusudan dad all right so again he was a student of hindu college as i just mentioned and uh, it was quite natural that everyone was under the influence of christianity who were studying in the hindu college all right so the father of torudat who was also a student of hindu college and that's why the whole family of torudat was uh, converted into christianity all right so remember there was a question in ugc net english literature that who introduced blank words in bengali literature okay so it was the work sharmista which was michael madhusudan dat first attempt at the blank words in bengali literature all right so he is famous for writing sonnets just like henry dorazio Henry Dorazio was a professor Madhusudan was that was a student he is not that important from competitive examination point of view but yes you should know a little about him as he was sort of a third person after Raja Ram Mohan Roy and Henry Dorazio who came in english education english studies in india all right so you don't have to read a lot of works of madhusudan that just titles will do the work all right so his works are visions of the past it is a collection of poems The captive lady it revolves around Prithviraj Chauhan and battle of Rajputs against Muslim King Porus a legend of old glorifies King Porus as a hero of Indian past the next one is the anglo section and the hindi it is an essay so the common link between all these uh, writers is that all these uh, writers who were writing in the 19th century were looking at the glory of past india was a sonne ki chidiya that's why they were writing the works on the past you see harp of india by henry dorazio it also talks about the same that india has lost its culture you see the past culture sonne ki chidiya the golden word bird the, the, that so called culture was so much high so much rich that we have lost that the same thing we can see in the works of madhusudan dat all right so all the works that i have just mentioned have some association with the past and after writing in english language michael madhusudan dat turned towards the bengali literature and his works are still one of the best works in bengali literature more than indian english literature this writer was uh, having a great writings in his own mother tongue okay so that after that happened after indian mutiny of 1950s 1857 because at that time many writers were awakened that no these british are, are doing very wrong to them so that is one of the reasons why all these writers were moving back to their own mother tongue their own regional languages and that's why they started writing in their own mother tongue okay um, so madhusudan dat turned himself into christianity but his works were more about glorifying hinduism so we are not sure whether he was a christian or a hindu or maybe he was influenced 
from both the religion first by christianity and after that he came back to hinduism so it is still a matter of debate all right uh, we will let this point here and we will close the chapter of michael madhusudan that and i will see you in the next video if you are enjoying this series let me know in the comment section below if you want me to continue this series all right that will also encourage me to create more such videos for you see you soon in the next video that's it for this video thank you